will go down as one of the greatest comebacks in local high school football history, especially when you consider the stage. And it has to be seen to be believed. So that's why the Varsity 845 football crew is bringing it to you. Newburgh Free Academy already cut a 16-point Minnesink Valley lead to 8 with 1.15 left in the Section 9 Class AA semifinal at Deet Stadium. Then Newburgh recovers the onside kick at the Minnesink Valley 40. Here we are at 4th and 11 with Newburgh's season on the line. Chris Paolini gets out of trouble and finds Marcus Spearman for a 19-yard gain and a first down. 11 seconds left. Newburgh is 4th and 7 from the 19. Paolini connects with Oscar Spooner across the middle for a 19-yard touchdown. That makes it 16-14. But Newburgh still needs to make the two-point conversion for the tie. Paolini throws it up in the corner to Darren Myers. Myers makes the catch. The score is tied at 16. We move to overtime. Each team gets four downs to either make a first down or a score. Newburgh goes first. Paolini scores on this three-yard run. Now freshman Mike Demschick makes the kick. Goldbacks lead 23-16. Now it's Minnesink's turn. On third and goal from the eight, Kevin Freeman dumps a pass to James Ferrier, who takes it in for the score. Russ Aldave makes the kick, and we go to a second overtime. Minnesink Valley goes first this time. Freeman stumbles coming out from behind center. It's a fumble. Newberg recovers. Now if the Goldbacks score, they win. Byron Thomas, here is your moment. On third and goal from the 10. Thomas weaves and... Oh, scores the game winner. Newberg wins 29-23. about it Byron Thomas. So how was your day today? Uh, it was good. <laughs> Great actually. Wow. I mean walk me walk me through the emotion of what's going through your mind right now. Uh, I know. That was just like of my career that was the best run of my life. Because I don't know I wasn't going down. I refused to go down on that last run. I was getting in the end zone no matter what. And we just had to execute and that's what we did. Our defense stepped up big. Our line started blocking. That's what we needed. We've been talking about staying together, never quitting all season, and I'm, I'm so proud of our kids just keep playing. We were just trying to just, just make it respectable there with whatever it was. A minute and a half, I don't even remember, but it wasn't much. And we had a little heartbeat there when we scored. Okay, let's get two, and we got it, and my goodness, and uh, it, it just, you couldn't rate it any different than any better. Newburgh plays Monroe Woodbury for the title Saturday night at Middletown High School. For the Varsity 845 football crew, I'm Kevin Witt.